Hi all. Today we are going to discuss how we can use Dell Boomi, which provides integration as pass tool in integrating disk to database scenario. Dell Boomi Atmosphere is an on-demand multi-tenant cloud integration platform for connecting cloud and on-premises applications and data. The platform enables customers to design cloud-based integration processes called Atoms and transfer data between cloud and on-premises applications. Each Atom defines what is necessary for integration. Boomi introduced technology which allows users to build and deploy integration processes using a visual interface and a drag-and-drop technique. This interface remains one of the key elements of the current Boomi platform. Disk connector is used to connect the local file system where the Atom is running to read and write operations on the file. The map is used to convert the data from one format to another format. Data process shape provides a number of options for manipulating document data within a process, splitting and combining documents to zipping and unzipping data. Program command is used to execute the database and system level commands as a part of the process flow. Stop shape is used to terminate the flow. Every connector that we use in Boomi contains two parts connection operation. Connection Dell Boomi integration connectors are the main component that facilitates integration and contain all of the information that is needed to connect to a data source or application. Operation The operation represents a specific action or API call against the application or data source defined by the connection. For example, in this operation, you define which web service call to make. For example, get purchase orders, update account, the FTP directory and file filter to get, how to batch commit database inserts, which email addresses to send to, etc. This is the sample scenario which we are demonstrating in this video. As part of demo, we have installed an Atom onto Windows machine. This is the file which we are using it as an input for this scenario. Create a new folder disk to database. Under disk to database folder, create a new component disk to database process. New process contains start shape. For now we go with no data and click on OK. Now search for the disk shape drag and drop it into the process and configure it. Select the action as get, as we are retrieving the data. Click on the plus button, here in directory place the location from where we are going to retrieve the file, later click on save and close button. Click on the plus button, as per your requirement change the required fields. Here we are setting it as default, click on save and close button. Then OK. Now search for the map shape connector drag and drop it into the process and configure it. Click on the plus button. Select choose under map source, select the profile type as JSON, click on the create new profile button. Click on import button. Click on Choose File and select the input file from where we need to retrieve the data. Click on Next button, we can see the message profile loaded, click on Finish. Unchain the route where we can see all the branches under it, click on Save and Close button. Click on Choose button under the Map Destination, select the profile type as JSON, select the previously created JSON file, click on OK. Unchain the route where we can see all the branches under it. Later map the fields with the appropriate fields. Click on Save and Close button, then OK. Search for Data Process Shape Connector, drag and drop it into the process and configure it. Click on the plus button for adding the processing steps. Select the process types as Split Documents, Profile Type as JSON. In Profile select the profile which we have created earlier. Click on a Split Element, Unchain the root, select Array Element 1 and then click on OK. Then click on OK. Search for the map connector, drag and drop it into the process and configure it. Click on the plus button. Click on choose button under map source, select profile type as JSON, select the profile which we have created earlier, then click on OK. Unchain the route to the sub branches under it, click on choose button under map destination, set the profile type as a database. Click on Create New Profile. Click on the options, set the execution type as Write. Now go back to Data Elements, 
click on the statement and write the SQL query for insertion. Click on fields, and select add multiple fields, enter the number how many fields do you want to add. Click on each field and do the required changes. Click on save and close button, unchain the fields, and map the fields with similar names. Click on save and close button, and then OK. Now drag and drop the program command connector into the process, and configure it. Click on the plus button to add the connection. Set the driver type as custom, provide the user credentials, then provide the class name and connection URL to connect with the database. Click on test connection button, select the local atom, click on next button. Here we can see the test connection successful message, click on the finish button. Then click on save and close button. Write the SQL query for insertion of data into the database. For adding the variables click on the plus button. Set the type as profile element, profile type as database, select the profile which we have created for insertion. Select the element. Then click on OK. Repeat the same method for adding the required variables. Click on OK. Drag and drop the stop connector which used to terminate the process. Connect the connector shapes with an arrow, when they are connected color changes from red to green. Now let us test the scenario. For that click on the test and select atom and then, click on run test. Observe the flow all shapes are in green color. Click on each connector to see the output data. Now let's go to the Postgre database and see whether the data is inserted into table or not. Here we can see that the data is successfully inserted into the table. Now click on the Manage tab and select the process reporting. Here we can see the last executed process with time. Click on it we can see the results of the connectors in the process. These are the Dell Boomi services which will be provided by the EAI ESB. Boomi Common Logging Error Framework, Catchy, addresses the issues by providing a common solution framework for logging and exception handling as enterprise service. Integration with ELK Stack. Integration with Microsoft Azure App Insights. For any queries please reach us at boomi at the rate of eaiesp.com.